What's going on, people? You know who I am. It's your boy, Smooth Style, sitting here again with John John. I don't know if you can tell in the background. Today, we're going to talk about Destiny, Destiny 2, all that wonderful stuff right there. As you can see, we got the collector's edition, the limited edition. Didn't pay for that collector's crap. Uh, got some K bobbleheads, Taking King, the whole nine yards. But, see, my thing about talking about Destiny that we're going to be having to do, I need a little bit of extra help. I'm trying to be as bright as I can about this. I'm trying to be positive. That's why I got this nice bright ass shirt on. But I need a little, you know, I just need some more help. I gotta put on my thinking cap. That's what oh, the problem okay. is. I really do. So we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna have to really, really, Pikachu gonna help us out with this one. Okay? We really gotta think about what the fuck we're doing with this. Pikachu got nothing to do with Destiny. Don't worry no, about it. Not. He's here to help me out though. So, ignore the hat. Listen to the words. Uh, honestly, as far as Destiny 1, I didn't understand what anybody was mad about with uh, Peter Dinklage being, <laughs> the, uh, an, being the initial voice of the ghost. That was good. They're like, oh, he lacks emotion. He's supposed to be a robot. I say robots don't have emotions. Yeah, he, oh, his, kind of his delivery was off. A robot's delivery would be off. The robot just tells us what to do. That's the point. What of the robot. to do? It gives us facts. It's it's not supposed to be anything different. Oh, that's me too. That robot gave <clears> too <throat> much emotions. Like, got scared. It, but that's me too. From the minute they switched to uh, whatever that dude was named uh, North, I can't remember his fucking name. I chose but not to know because when they switched from one to the other, I didn't care. It didn't make the game better or worse. Everybody complains about the lack of story. If you were an original Destiny One player when it played when it was the vanilla before House of Wolves and any of all that other shit, mm -hmm. yeah, it was kind of garbage, a little fucked up, but it was still a good game. I followed them as a faithful Bungie fan. I've been following Bungie since Halo Combat Evolved, so to follow them to Destiny was just gonna happen. I followed because of him. He when I saw him playing the original Destiny before all the DLCs and updates and all that, I just thought it was a good gun game. I am a gun gamer. The one thing I never the seemed like the at the beginning they were trying to have us learn about the Traveler. The giant um from power source, the thing that brought us back to life. It seemed like that's the first thing we were learning about. Well, some of the things that uh, really got me going, especially campaign-wise, was in the original one, again, just like I was talking about in Titanfall, the story's there. People just don't want to put forth effort to read shit, you bunch of lazy bastards. <laughs> in every Grimoire card you get is a piece of the story. That's the whole point in collecting them. People want to be achievement hunters and trophy hunters, but don't give a shit about the actual game. You want to be a hundred percent there, but you don't put a hundred percent into caring about the story. He likes talking about when you're in the game. It literally tells you at the bottom you unlock a new grimoire card. You unlock a new grimoire card. I've been asked so many times, where do we go look the grimoire card? Grim grimoire cards. It's in the app, and it's in the app. It's on the website, the Bungie.net. It's on there. It's in the game. There's a place for you to go and look at every grimoire card you've ever gotten. There's just oh my god, look. Watch this. Here's a fucking book from Destiny 2. I mean, it's all in here for you to read. It's words. It's pictures. It's like, oh my fucking God, do something. But heaven forbid somebody read something. Well, I didn't want to play the game. I want to shoot. No, you can do more than that to understand the game better. By the time you got done with Destiny 1 <laughs> and the grind and the getting the different weapons. I mean, I guess they made you DLC, and they gave you House of Wolves. Yeah. Then they gave you, I mean, Crota. They gave you Atheon, Vault of Glass, very first fucking raid. Oh my if you've God. never done the Vault of Glass, you've never played Destiny. That was the hardest raid I've ever done. You have, uh, what was the one? You have Orcs. Mm -hmm. you ha I mean, you have so many different things that if you really, really think about it and you really, really want to know what's going on, when you spend all this money on Destiny 2, you spent... A ton of money for a glorified DLC. 
because you had the DLC for the for the uh, Fallen, mm -hmm. you had the DLC for the Vex, yep. you had the DLC for the freaking Hive. Uh, Hive. So where was the Cabal's DLC? The final <laughs> boss. They made a new game to give you another DLC, another boss, the only boss that you didn't have. They turned it into a whole other game. Mind you, Destiny 2's intro was great. That was sick. That was, that's what I always want. I literally talk to them all the time when we play Destiny. I want somebody to attack the city. I want somebody to take the Traveler, attack the city, so I can defend the Traveler and the Speaker and just kill him. I want to see that. I want uh -huh. to see that. And I'll admit he did say it. He was, say, he was asking for while I was trying to hunt for my Galahorn. Mm -hmm. He was saying, you know, wouldn't it be cool if he had to fight in the city, in the tower? And lo and behold... Destiny 2, we fought in the fucking tower. You gave us exactly what we were looking for in terms of location. Mm -hmm. But I honestly feel we never completed Destiny 1. There was so much more left to that. You gave us the Iron Lords. You could have gave us Osiris. You could have gave us everybody fucking else before you went to Destiny 2. Like I, like, I get you guys made Destiny 2 to answer our questions, but now you just give us more questions. But you didn't give us Destiny 2 to answer our questions. You gave us Destiny 2 that's for a said. money grab. That's, but that's what they Destiny said. 2 was a fucking money grab. Period. Point blank. This is the hat talking. We're being very smart right now, aren't we? The fucking Destiny 2 was specifically done for a money grab. Mm -hmm. Because when you went and you did everything you needed to do as far as campaign versus multiplayer... You grinded for the guns to use. Mm -hmm. Somebody had the thorn and raped you with it five, six times in the game. You went and grinded to get the freaking exotic quest to get the pieces to put together the thorn. Oh, right. Remember, remember, remember the exotic bounties you have to do for the multiplayer? That was that was a grind. Kill you fucking 20, kill. 30, 50 people with a freaking fusion rifle. Nobody used fusion rifles, but all of a sudden you had to do it. And when you saw somebody using it, you knew what fucking quest they were on. Bad Juju, the shit you had to do for that oh, one. Man. The shit you had to do for Red Death. These were all things. The Crux of Crota, the one that turned into the, eventually the Necrochasm. Mm -hmm. You had to, if you didn't do Volta of Glass, you never got the Crux of Crota. That you never got the other piece, uh, the Husk of Crota, mm -hmm. to put them together to get the Necrochasm. Then you had to get killed with the Necrochasm to level it up to the exotic version. And then that was strike. a fucking grind. That was something that you needed to do to get something going. For the Supercell, you had to kill people with the assault rifles and then get a certain... I forget what, what specific one. Those specific assault rifles you had to use. Get headshots with, with the assault rifle, which is already hard because it's an assault rifle. It shoots multiple bullets all up and down your body. So you're talking about the focus on his head. Then you had to do it like three strikes to get it. Then pretty much you get it and then you still have to do stuff to like unlock the full power of the Supercell because you have to go to... I forgot who the gunsmith was doesn't matter. Yeah, it, it was, was the gunsman. Yeah, it was the gunsman, basically. That was fun. But the multiplayer, kind of did, it didn't seem weighted to one side, unless you played, I think it was Conquest. I forgot what the game was. It was like the three, the three map locations. Probably, that's what the name of it was. It was basically, whoever had the best side, had the advantage the whole time. Had the, there wasn't no best side. It was about if you were playing solo, mm -hmm. or playing as part of a team. And again, People don't fucking understand. When you play solo, games are going to be fucking hard. Period. Especially when you're dealing with Bungie, who pretty much put the stamp on putting together a good multiplayer. Games are not supposed to be easy. Games are supposed to be where you have team shooting, where you have flanking routes. That's what it's supposed to be. And you bastards... See, I didn't curse that time. I'm trying my best. You bastards... Uh, complaining about the wrong things. You're focused on the BS. This is not a game where the multiplayer outshined the campaign. Where the campaign outshined the multiplayer. The campaign wasn't what it could have been. The multiplayer wasn't what it could have been because it was powered heavily on getting supers as fast as possible and the supers were fucking OP. If you, havoc. If you were a hunter... <laughs> you unless you were able to sneak around because I was a hunter <laughs> unless you were able to sneak around you got raped the minute you saw a titan or a freaking warlock if you were a warlock 
the you Nova use bomb. that you use that storm cloak, the Nova bomb. It doesn't matter what you were doing. I could have you almost dead. You hit that Nova bomb animation, you're gonna kill me and everybody else and live somehow. Mm-hmm. If you were the freaking uh, Titan, Titan, you were invincible. We had the defender. Of what you did. We had the defender. We had the hammer soul. And now we have because of Destiny 2, we have the Sentinel Shield, which he wanted to be a Titan for because of that Sentinel. Shield. Only because it's Captain America, and I think it's unfair that the, the oh, freaking man. Hunter is still a freaking. You can spit at a Hunter and he's gonna die. Mm-hmm. And that's bullshit. But that's the design of the character. You know what you're getting into when you use it. By the time you're playing Destiny 2, if Destiny 2 was your first game, you might have wanted to go back and play some Destiny 1, or at least do some research. That all these videos all over YouTube that tell you who's good, what, where, when, and how. Mm-hmm. So, do something else besides just, ooh, let me get a game and go play it and then fuck up. Oh, this game sucks. No, you need to learn shit. That's because even when you play Destiny 2, Gary, I'm calling Gary. Gary first tells you that we use the powers, we use all of our powers so much that we're pretty much invincible, which he's not wrong. But when he finally took our powers away from us in the campaign, if you guys actually paid attention, which I probably didn't, y'all just kept running. When he took our powers away, we were weak, we got killed easily, we had to try to escape the tower. You look Gary in the face, and he literally kicked us off, at the end of the first mission, he kicks us off his ship. And yet, we were supposed to be so powerful and so strong. To where we have to now learn a new power, which we got the sent. We had the sentinel. You guys had the arc staff, arc staff? Okay. and all around the camp. The campaign, pretty much, all of that should just been one DLC. All the like, just pretty much all together. Like that attack on the tower should have been a raid. Like everything we did in that mission should have. If they added more, it would have been a raid. That's all. I, that's all I pretty much can see with that. That could have been a raid. No, I can. I can agree with that. You, if you add everything that is Destiny Two, that should be a raid, because whatever the fact that that bullshit nasty looking raid was, you're trying to make the raids harder and harder. Why? Because you're mad that people can solo it. Mm-hmm. You're mad because they can two man the raid. I mean, what is what is the issue with what they're doing? That it's pissing you off. The the games are meant to be beaten. If it's not going to be beaten, then it's not a game. It's just a... It's a you're paying to get fucked. And that doesn't make any sense. I like looking back and knowing that somebody soloed Atheon. Oh, that was sick. I like going back and knowing that somebody was able to solo... I watched t- a two-man. I was in the freaking game with them when they two-manned Crota. Literally... I sat back and watched them too many. I just ran through everything they needed me to run through and stayed out the damn way and watched them do it. Mm-hmm. I, I didn't make anything better. I didn't make anything worse. I remember the first time I three man Oryx. That raid really was not supposed to be three man, but we pulled it off. Like we just got all the to Oryx. We did what we had to do. We killed the sisters and we killed him. We didn't really have that much to worry about. It was Oryx. But to finish this up, I. Uh, one of the things that I know they did right was the pay to win. There is no pay to win. Again, this is just like Titanfall, where it's you're paying for skins, you're paying for emotes, you're paying for shaders and freaking cool looking helmets and hats and shit like that, dance moves and hotline bling and all the other bullshit. <laughs> the sparrows, which don't do anything. You you're paying for stuff that. Just to make you feel better. Oh, my guy looks different than your guy. Accessories. Yeah. And then you guys are dicks and put it in freaking Destiny 2 where you have to spend so much more money to coordinate what your guy looks like. So you're either going to look like a pile of throw up that my dog did or you're going to look like you spent a bunch of money to get shit because you don't grind in Destiny 2. You grind it in Destiny 1 for everything. The Destiny 2 is not a grind. I think... To finish it off, the campaign for Destiny 2 was so short, it didn't really take us that long to finish it. It took maybe four hours, and that's because we do explore. The actual campaign itself does not take long. The whole, the worlds they gave us are big, but the campaign itself did not take long. Even with the Child of Cyrus DLC, it did not take me long. You guys saw my Instagram. I don't like it. Destiny could have done better. We'll see what happens next time. Your final thought? Honestly, final thought. 
Destiny 2 is the reason why I stopped playing Xbox. It was just enough is enough. I supported Bungie for so fucking long. I supported Xbox for 12 years. I was an original gamer for the Xbox. But Destiny 2 is the reason why I switched and started playing PlayStation. Because if this was the best that one of my favorite companies could give me, I had to leave the system alone. That's how much I dislike. And you see, the limited edition's right there. I paid the money for that. Mm -hmm. I paid the money for the book that you just saw a little while ago. So it's not like I didn't care about the game. I didn't care. I wanted to see them improve. And they made it failed. Worse. Failed miserably. Pikachu's not happy right now. <laughs> failed miserably. Notice the shirt is dimming because no matter how bright I'm trying to be for the game, it just wasn't what I needed it to be. And it could have been so much better. But again, could have been so much more worse. Could have been Star Wars Battlefront, the first one. Oh, man. But we're not going to go there. We're going to say that for next time. Mm -hmm. So, to finish off this time, Smooth Styles. John John. See you when we see you. Peace. <laughs>